This is creative visualization and it's dynamic meditation in that you solve problems when you go to this other level of consciousness and you can manifest things in your life that you, you desire. Um, you become happier, healthier. Um, people that do this meditation every day report that, you know, little things in their life start clearing up, problems get solved, and sitting there shaking his head. <laughs> But that's how it works. I mean, somebody explained it to me in 1967 when I went to Chicago as a stewardess of United Airlines, and I met a man who explained to me how creative visualization worked, and bingo, I started manifesting everything I wrote down and visualized. And I've been studying this stuff ever since because um, it's so absolutely fascinating because once you get it, what you do is you get a paradigm shift. It's almost like, you know, um, well, years ago when people thought the world was flat, of course, when they finally figured out it was round, there were a lot of people that refused to get it, I'm sure. You know, they just would say, there's no way. It was a paradigm shift. So now what we've got is this paradigm shift going on with people where there are those that understand that the subjective world of thought is what is controlling the objective world of matter. But very few people still understand that because most people are thinking that the objective world of matter is controlling them. So it's that paradigm shift. And once you get it, then you become much more careful about what you're thinking about because you realize that thoughts are very powerful and are controlling your life. So if you want to have a good life, you got to think about the things you want. And if you want to get away from the things that you don't want, you have to stop thinking about them. And this gives you a technique because in the two days that you're in the seminar, it's like a totally immersion. You go to this other level of consciousness um, over the course of the seminar 10 times. So when you walk out, it's very easy to just get to this other level of consciousness. We didn't just show up here. We actually came here for a purpose. And because we all have our own unique talents and abilities and ways that we do things. And once you find out what your purpose is, then it gets really fun and enjoyable. It goes like this. This is a chart that Jose Silva made up. Right now, we're at the beta level of consciousness. Our brains are vibrating around 20, 21 cycles per second because our eyes are open and we're using our five senses. Now, when you take the seminar, you learn how to find the alpha level of consciousness where your brain is vibrating at 10 cycles per second. Anywhere between seven and 14, actually. Now, that's where we do our very best thinking. That's why it's A, B. It's the strongest pulsation. If you have an electroencephalograph machine hooked up to your brain, you would see that when you're at that alpha level of um, thinking and your brain is vibrating at that level, it's actually the strongest frequency coming from your brain. And theta, delta, we go down there and we go to sleep at night and we go into these lower levels. But during the course of the seminar, you learn techniques to go to this level of consciousness, solve problems, heal yourself, heal other people, get rid of anxiety, let things go. It was just in Enlightenment Magazine this month, which I picked up yesterday, um, article on meditation. They now have proven that anybody who has meditated for five years at least has added another 12 years to their life. Yeah, it's, it's huge. It's huge, and that's not the first time I've read this. They're doing studies all the time. And it, it works like this. Every time you meditate for at least 15 minutes, you strengthen your immune system because you're relaxing all those little capillaries in your organs and you're letting go of all that tension. You can't be stressed and meditating at the same time. So people who never meditate, that are just racing around like crazy all the time, are killing themselves because they're burning themselves up. We know now that it's the alpha thinkers, the natural alpha thinkers, that are the best thinkers on the planet. Jose Silva went so far as to call the beta thinkers the eccentric ones. Now, a lot of people have it reversed. They think people who are living at the alpha level of consciousness are the eccentric ones because they tend to be more intuitive. You know, they get information from invisible means that other people can't figure out. But it's really the beta thinkers that they are the eccentric ones centered ones, the ones who are thinking at the alpha level, those are the centered ones. That's why we call it being at your center. It's almost like being at the control panel. You know, 
though, because when you're an alpha thinker, you don't just get stressed out when somebody tosses something at you. You go within and try to think about how to solve the problem. And you get better results. We know now that you get better results thinking at the alpha level than you do at the beta. To this tune, you, maybe you're going to get good results one out of five times at beta, four out of five times at alpha. So you want to go to people that are alpha thinkers when you need advice, when you you know need a consultant, when you. So guess what? People who are alpha thinkers are probably going to take over the world <laughs> eventually. <laughs> Hopefully, because they're the ones that can think straight. I mean, we teach you a technique called the mental video technique so that every night when you go to sleep, you go down through the delta doorway into the spiritual dimension, and you can ask your higher self questions and get answers. You might have it in a dream. You might get it, um, you know, having a conversation or reading a book, but you'll get it within 72 hours. You'll get the answer to whatever it is you're wondering about. You can ask your higher self what your purpose is and get the answer. But you have to know how to find this other level of consciousness. People that take Silva training workshops find that they use the technique every single day. I mean, years and years and years and years. They just don't want to stop because they know even if they just do it a little bit every day, it's going to get better and better and better. And it's always there for you when you need it. You know, if something comes up and you need to correct a problem or get an answer, you know how to go to this other level of consciousness to find the solution. Because Jose Silva's philosophy was there is never a problem without a solution. Right? Einstein said you can't solve a problem at the same level of consciousness that you created it at. So, if you create a problem at the beta level of consciousness, you've got to go to the alpha level at least, or alpha theta, to release it or to get the answer. You're not going to get it by, you know how you get a problem sometimes you just go around and around and around like a squirrel in a cage and it makes you crazy? It's because you're not getting out of that level of consciousness. You need to a technique where you can release yourself from that and, and trust that you're going to get the answer. Now Jose Silva really believed that finding the alpha level of consciousness was like finding the kingdom of heaven for them. Because when you find that level of consciousness within you, then you can manifest, you can heal, you can do everything you want to do. So that has to be the kingdom of heaven. But it's not at the beta level of consciousness. That's the personality and that's the ego that we have in order to function in this dimension. But we really want to be able to you know, connect with the spiritual dimension. And we can only do that by going down into the alpha level. We're never going to do that at the beta level.